Stop New York, hey! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, man. It's getting cold out. Oh, I hate the cold, man. I hate the cold because it bothers this metal rod I got put in my left leg after I broke it on my birthday by going to a trampoline park. <laughs> Went to a trampoline park on my 24th birthday. Instead of going to a strip club like a real man, <laughs> broke my darn leg. You just gotta add that to the list of things black people should not do. <laughs> like, we can jump. We just don't need assistance. <laughs> <laughs> it was scary after I broke my leg because they put me on prescription pain meds. And up until that point, I had never done drugs in my life because I grew up on the D.A.R.E. program. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> I'm the one kid it worked on. <laughs> the D.A.R.E. program was effective, man, because they made us sing a song every day. Just a bunch of fifth graders in class talking about, D, I won't do drugs. A, I'll have an attitude. R, I will respect myself. E, I will educate me now. <laughs> All the teachers looking at us like, look at these stupid head kids singing this goofy song. <laughs> Y'all gotta relax and watch the Magic School Bus, man. <laughs> oh, comedy, comedy's my drug, man. That's what I'm addicted to. That's why I'm glad we can all come together and share a laugh, put aside our differences for a bit. I think that's how we progress in this country, and I think we'll progress in this way. First off, black people, we have to stop blaming white people for our problems, all right? It's a big deal for us. And uh, white people, you gotta stop creating so many problems. <laughs> Get a little head. Just... Come on back. You know, just all right, asking. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I've done my research on white people. Mm -hmm. I'd be watching Game of Thrones and things like that. <laughs> and all types of potions and elixirs. You know why shows like that exist? Walking Dead and Game of Thrones? Because uh, white people ain't got no natural predator. <laughs> you don't. You just gotta make up stuff. <laughs> just sitting there like, what if there were zombies and dragons? <laughs> oh my word, can you imagine? What would the world be like with problems? Oh, just save us, Khaleesi. <laughs> like Naked and Afraid? It's a white ass show, bruh. <laughs> You know how good your life got to be? That the only way you can feel fear is to go to the woods with your dang -a out? <laughs> Black people ain't doing no naked and afraid. We go outside every day clothed and suspected. This is no fun. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> Does Will Jordan make it past this routine traffic stop? Find out this Wednesday on Clothed and Suspected. <laughs> I said the DVR, Clothed and Suspected is coming on. <laughs> now, I've, uh, I've actually been hanging out with a lot of white people lately because I've been spending a lot of time in Harlem. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> guys are spreading. <laughs> Harlem's changed. It's a lot different now. Even the crackheads are different. Crackheads and switch up the merchandise. I was in the barbershop the other day. This crackhead came in and tried to sell me a dragon egg. Mm. He's like, hey, man, I got these dragon eggs for you. I was like, dragon egg? He's like, yeah, man, there's a whole bag of them. They nice, they clean, they pure, they good quality. You got to buy this stuff. I was like, brother, these are avocados. I was like, how much you selling these for, man? He's like, 50 cents a piece. I was like, damn, that's a great deal right there. <laughs> know how much you can get for these on the white market? You are selling yourself short, my friend. Let's draw up a business deal. We will take this over. <laughs> I try not to think about that race stuff too much, but it does seep into my mind every now and again. I think it's because of where I was raised. I was raised in the South. They teach you things differently as a young black kid in the South. Like, I'm from a place called Greensboro, North Carolina. And in, yeah, right. yeah, and in Greensboro, we had a planetarium. And I love space. I'm infatuated with it. I love space the way Oprah loves bread. 
So I would get geeked. I would get geeked to go to the planetarium. I'd be like, yo, this is dope. We're going to the planetarium. I can't wait. We get to learn about space. And they say, no, Jordan, you're going to learn about slavery. I was like, what? How? All right. And they project stars onto the screen, and they say the slaves will use the stars as a roadmap of sorts when they were trying to navigate their way to the north. They'd sing songs. They'd say, when the first quail calls to carry you to freedom, follow the drinking gourd. I remember that song, just in case of emergency. <laughs> <laughs> so if Trump pressed that button, I'm gonna be out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The North Star, DeMarcus, follow me. I know a place in Harlem where you get some dragon eggs, my friend. <laughs> my name is Jordan Fisher. Thank you so much. Dream on. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's absolutely nice. Jordan Fisher right there. Not bad. Standing ovation, not bad. Uh, uh -huh. and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on